We have tropical weather likely impacting much of the southeast over the next several days. Meteorologist Corey Smith goes over the important information you need to know leading up to this type of weather. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, since 1950, we've seen 10 landfalling hurricanes here in the state. That includes Ian just last year. So we are no strangers to tropical weather here in South Carolina. Idalia is beginning its path into the Gulf of Mexico, where the National Hurricane Center expects it to become a major hurricane. With impacts looking possible for South Carolina, it is important to know what we will be sharing with you before the storm arrives. When it comes to tropical weather, watches and warnings are a little bit different from the typical severe weather that we see. They're based off of timing. So a tropical storm watch or a hurricane watch are issued 40 hours from potential impacts. This is when you should be preparing for those storms to move into the area. Once you get a little bit closer though, around 36 hours or less, that's when we could see a tropical storm or hurricane warning issue. At this point, you should be prepared for the storm and its potential impacts. You might see a forecast cone over the coming days. The cone shows the path the center of the storm is expected to take and is based off of historical track error. It is very important to remember that very often impacts occur outside of the cone when it comes to tropical storms and hurricanes. Of course, if larger impacts are expected, that's when the South Carolina Emergency Management Division could issue out evacuations. You can see on this map where we have evacuation zones here in South Carolina. They're mainly along the coast. If any of those orders are issued, then from there, residents are expected to move along one of many hurricane evacuation routes that lead away from the coast and towards more inland locations where you will be safer when we see these storms moving through. Whether you're on the coast or here in the Midlands, the biggest threat by far traditionally with hurricanes is heavy rain that could lead to flash flooding. That's gonna be the case this week and something we'll be watching closely as Adalia's forecast changes over the next 40 hours. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist, Corey Smith. Corey, thank you so much.